Hello Internet, I'm Bernard Fez, the Tiki Specialist. In this video, we will review together the differences between very important tracker field types. The item link, item list and dynam dynamic item list. I will also demonstrate how to use them, of course. But before that, I hope you enjoyed the summer break. It allowed me to review one year of Tiki Express tutorials. Check statistics and comment. And by the way, Thanks for all the good messages I received about my last tutorial with Fabio, helping a lot of people with Git and Tiki. Commits are coming, Doc has been improving and keep growing. There should be less and less reason for anyone to continue using SVN while Git is working just fine. Back to my video, there will be some changes and adjustments. And first, I would like to start with a 60 second Tiki news to start with. Tiki 20.1 was released a week ago and it's the first update for this major Tiki version and it's definitely worth to use it and to upgrade. Plugging list and list execute were improved and optimized. New parameters for table display, count item, perform item per item calculation. It's now also possible to modify the content of a single field in a tracker item with list execute. A new elastic search database aggregation was added to improve facet as well as chart and histogram option using Tiki. Look at those graphics made dynamically from Tracker and thanks Johnny for the sample. Open file and converse integration for communication and, and chat were massively improved and you can test our Tiki chat at Wikisuite. The plugin Tracker calendar as well as the calendar feature were also improved and with Bootstrap 4 it really looked professional. The diagram feature was fixed and improved and I will do a full tutorial for this one as I really love this feature. Category was vastly improved with addition and optimization of code to speed up the display. Maps also with OpenLayer 3 integration as well as other OpenLayer provider and you can now display clustering of mapped elements. It's done already, you know. Uh, OCR, we got OCR and OCR index in Tiki now. Okay, so uh, 60 seconds is very short for all the Tiki news, but that's it. That's it. Uh, you can see more information at doc.tiki.org20, Tiki20, uh, or in the changes with art that you will find on the, the control panel in the admin navbar under tools, wizard, wizard changes. Look there. So let's start our Tiki Express tutorial on the item link, item list, and dynamic item list. We have in Tiki many field types, and we've seen a few on my trackers tutorial. If you missed it, or you are new to trackers, I suggest you to view this video first. I'll place a link in the video description as usual. It is a good time to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the like button and share this video. Do it please, that's the way to help me to do more and more Tiki Express tutorial. So, as we've seen, we got text field, date field, drop down, categories, files, etc. You will find a link at the bottom of this video with a list and details of all those fields. But today I want to show you three very important tracker field types that will give you the ability to use trackers for relational database application. Using them, you can display, use and compute data from different trackers. In conjunction with the Tiki index, unified index, you will be able to retrieve data from wiki page, file gallery, etc. But let's quickly review them before jumping into complicated case. I'm here to give you a solid kickstart, so I won't cover absolutely everything. Just suit yourself, study, use, test and explore. Let's start with quick definitions. Item link. With this field, you can retrieve the content of one or several fields from a different tracker. You can display the value or display a link to the item. You can display the value in a dropdown or in a table. You can filter using the tracker item status. You can display or select the value. You can also create an item directly in the other tracker with this field. In short, you have a tracker A and you want in this tracker a field that lists values from a field of tracker B. Item list. With this field, you can retrieve the content of several fields from a different tracker to create a list of value. In short, you have tracker A and you want in tracker B a list made from element of tracker A. 
item dynamic list. With this field, you can retrieve dynamically a value from a different tracker item based on selected value from both trackers. You can force the selection if unique. In short, you have tracker A and tracker B. In each one, you have a field to match with and when the match is positive, you display immediately the content of another field from tracker A into tracker B. Let's set up a clockwork system. While it is pretty close to what I would deliver to a customer, this is just for demonstration. There are things I wouldn't do that way, like a static days tracker, and also if we have rates already, I would add calculation field. But the purpose is to show you the maximum of things with those three field types without too much distraction. So, I created four trackers and filled some of them to go faster. We have the workers tracker that will store our workers information. We have a days tracker that will store the days of the week. We have a rates tracker that will store the price for different services. We have a clockwork to recap all the informations and create reports. Before we start, it is important for me to tell you that everything about data in Tiki is dependent of the unified index. It holds the information the field will look up into and you have to keep its freshness to work properly. To refresh it, you can use the rebuild index command from the admin control panel search or from the console.php using the shell. For example, when you set an item link and you don't see the field you just created in another tracker, chances are your unified index is outdated. Just rebuild and clear cages. The workers tracker. In this tracker, I use status for active workers and inactive workers. We have first name, last name, and passport field. Those are text field and agency, our first item link. Let's have a look at the agency field. I tell this item link field to look into the ray tracker and to display the list of all the labeled items in this tracker. I can see that the agency field lists all the labels in all the items in the tracker. This is how the field is set by default. We certainly prefer to show only one label for each agency. I go to this field options and for the parameter one item per value, I change the value to one item for each label. Back to the tracker item list, I create a new worker. Back to the item list, all is there. Not that I got one pending item. To demonstrate, I use the item status to filter the inactive worker. Let's see the next tracker. The days tracker just contain a list of days with a single text field for the day name. In real case, I would certainly use date and time field or link other trackers with monthly recapitulation, etc. Anyway, it's for demonstration. Let's go to the next tracker. The tracker rates is really a mishmash, but again, it's a demo. I have a label and I use it as the matching field for the agency value. I have rate, a text field and type to display later a list of different services and rates in our report. Ok, next, the final tracker, the clockwork. You can see that all my fields contain information from an external tracker. The first field is an item link, linked to the workers tracker that display the first and the last name and with an option to create a new worker on the fly. We got dynamic item list to fill automatically the passport number value and to force the selection of the unique possible value we hide blank. 
we got the same for agency and this field will be used later as the matching value with our tracker rates. We got an item link linked to the days tracker, one item for each label of course, and this time we want to select multiple value. And last, an item list that look in the rates tracker, matching the agency from this tracker with the other tracker, and generate a list that will display the type of service and its cost for the agency. Ok, let's create our first report. In the clockwork tracker, let's create an item. I select a worker, and I can see the content of the first name and last name field, and only the active workers with an open status are displayed. I can also create a new one on the fly with a simple click on the button, as you can see. Now look at what happened when I select the worker, the Dark Knight. Passport and Agency, two dynamic item lists, are filled automatically as soon as we have a match between the tracker, the last name here. Days, our item link with the option to select multiple value, is waiting our input. Service and Rate, our item list show a list of items for this agency displaying cost and service label together in a row. Save. Our list of items is updated and everything just works fine. All this can be used now by the plugin list and list execute on wiki pages. Wow, as you can see, those three field types had superpowers to the Tiki trackers. And from this sample, you can easily imagine how you can greatly improve your association company or personal project with dozens of form report, any data management. Here, for a kindergarten project, I create a customer payments and employee working hours report generated almost automatically. This each month save a lot of time to someone that want to take care of children and really don't want to set several hours feeding Excel with information. This is just one case on hundreds. I hope you learned something here. And please, if you like that video, click on the like button and share everywhere you think it should be. If you don't want to miss my next tutorial and want to be notified when I publish a new video, just click on the bell, the subscribe button of my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and may the power of Tiki be with you.